We're Zoe and James, and we live in Berlin, Germany. I work in customer support for a US-based software company. And I'm a photographer, a commercial photographer, and a retoucher. So I kind of fell into my work, but I always wanted to help people, and I always wanted to write. And that's basically what I do. I mean, I'm writing emails all day, every day, and helping people with like tiny little problems. But if I can help make people's life a little better, then that's great for me. I just love photography. It's something that I kind of come into quite recently in the last few years. And yeah, I'm just a, a nerd, a mega nerd for it. <laughs> And we kind of have Berlin to thank for it all. Yeah, nothing would have changed, I think, if we'd stayed in London. So it's all down to the move yeah. to Berlin. I feel like we got lucky, but we also sort of made our own luck in a way. And I'm just really stoked that we didn't stay in the safe space we were yeah. in with our like lockdown careers. Like, I'm really glad we broke out of that. Mm -hmm. We're actually both from the same town in, in the UK. We're both from Newcastle upon Tyne. So if you've seen Geordie Shore, <laughs> oh, no. that's where we're from. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, it's like Jersey Shore, but worse. The only like tiny bit of pride I have for where we come from is related to Newcastle Don't Brown Ale. so negative. Well, no, it was a fine place to grow up, mm -hmm. but it's like not a good place if you're a weirdo like we were. Yes. So we got <laughs> out, so. Mm -hmm. It's an inspirational story <laughs> for all, all teenagers in Newcastle. Exactly. Yeah, it, it yes. gets better. It does. <laughs> I have a personal photography project called Child Free, and it's a portrait series about women who choose not to have children. I'm really excited to get going with that next year. I want to be photographing women all around the world. I hope that would be my dream. I think my philosophy for work is just keep learning. That's going to push you forward and it makes every day kind of different as well. If you're learning new software, new techniques, then it keeps it exciting. My life philosophy is probably just you live every day as, as if it was your last, you know, so I try to do that. <laughs> As I've got older, I've kind of learned a bit more to like let go and not sweat the small stuff and especially not fret over like, what am I doing? Where am I heading? Because mm -hmm. I think if you just keep doing the stuff that brings you joy and, you know, you don't do wrong by anyone else, then that kind of stuff can like line up for you. Berlin 1920s era, the fashion, the culture, it just looks like so much fun. And I just love how women have this power and they can do what they want, look how they want. And yeah, that, that would be it for me. And I'm kind of curious, like, about the future around the time or post, like, singularity. Because I feel like things are better for lots of people now than they ever have been. Mm -hmm. But, like, we're also more aware of the bad stuff than we ever have been. So I don't know whether that means we're on like an upward or a downward trajectory. So I'd like to see how that pans out. Oh God. I don't know how chill a vacation <laughs> it would be, but seeing as like you're saying, I can just go there and I can just come back. Hmm. Okay. I take full advantage of that. I don't know if you've been to Japan, mm. but like Japan. We went last yeah. year and it's just all mind blowing mm -hmm. all the time. And yeah. fun, it's like intense and full on, but not like in a scary way. No. Like everyone's friendly and everything's kind of hilarious. Yeah, and the food. The food is amazing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. 